All right. Why do you think we look at negotiations like navigating a maze? Why do you think we want you to look at negotiations like navigating a maze? So you don't get stuck in a dead end and that you find your way to the center. Oh, interesting. So let me ask you a question. How do you know when you're in the maze, how do you know when you're at a dead end? Uh, you can't go any further in the direction you were originally headed. Perfect. You don't know it's a dead end until you hit it. And then not getting stuck there. I think that's the only other thing I think we think about it. It's like you don't get that result you wanted. Go back a little bit. Maybe you'll find another direction. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. You don't know until you know. That's the bottom line. You know, you're going to, you've probably been around people. Maybe you're one of these people yourself that says, before you even get into the room, I can't say that. They're not going to go for this. Got to take this off the table. This is going to cause an adverse response. And you start negotiating with yourself, compromising with yourself before you even get to the table. And so of the seven things you were going to ask, you have already predetermined that this is going to be a dead end. You're not going to ask it. So you're taking four off the table before you have even engaged the other side. You don't know it's a dead end until you get there. Yes, if you have an aerial view of a maze, it's pretty easy to see which path you're going to take. But unfortunately, most of us don't have that. In a maze, the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. Uh, and in, in real life, the in, outside of the maze, I mean, the, the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. This obviously does not work in a maze and it obviously does not work in, in a negotiation. And you only know that you're gonna hit a dead end when you walk the path. Don't be afraid of the rejection of the dead end, which is where the mindset most people are in when they're engaged in the conversation. As Mark said, you back up a little, take another route.